But I have to admit, out of curiosity, I would really like to know about the last church you attended. I don't see any reason to uh, go into all of that. We just felt like that the church had grown so large, we needed to find a smaller church where we could take that gift and help you grow. And how do you expect to begin here? Well, just off the top of my head, as I drove into the parking lot, I noticed your church sign mm -hmm. looked rather old uh -huh. and uh, out of date. Uh -huh. It could use a little updating. So I took it upon myself to write this check for $2,000. $2,000? $2, so you could go do something about that sign. Why, that's uh, very gracious of you, Mr. Lindley. Well, we just feel like we need to set an example so that other people can follow. And uh, there's more where that came from. I see. And, and you were saying? Now that you know that we can pay our way, we should uh, discuss that leadership position that you have for us. Uh-huh. Well, you certainly have laid out a lengthy resume for me. Uh, but frankly, Mr. Lindley, uh, considering that you want an answer today, a concrete answer, I think it would be wisdom if we prayed. Would you do the honors, please? Dear Lord, I thank you for sending us here to be of great value to this church. We are leaders, and you know that we will bless all of those you place beneath us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Was that good for you? Because it was surely good to me. <laughs> Lovely prayer, Mr. Lindley. So, you're interested in a leadership position. Well, I don't think we should expect any less. Mm -hmm. Well, let me start out by saying that, and you know this, people flow in and out of churches all the time. So around here, we found its wisdom to kind of test folk in the small things before we put them over the big. Well, that shouldn't apply to us. Well, stay with me here for a minute. It just so happens that we do indeed have one opening for a leadership position that is quite demanding. I'm sure we would qualify for that. Oh, I think you're qualified. Now, this ministry requires maturity requires the ability to be able to sniff out problems and wipe them out, you know, before things get real messy. We can handle that all right. Mm, I thought you could. Now, and the truth of the matter is, if you and your wife do a good job, I'm telling you, you two can clean up. That sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Yes. yes. Okay, so let me explain that around here, we affectionately refer to it as the PB Patrol. The PB Patrol. Mm-hmm. Just what is that? Well, think about it. What would a PB Patrol do? Oh, I know, I know. You want to put us over the uh, parking lot and security. We could uh, have uh, parking places for the leadership, which would include us. And I could make signs, and uh, uh, we'll need an office to operate out of. Well, that's not exactly what the PB Patrol is. Uh, it's more in line with ooh, cleanliness is next to godliness. You've heard the saying before. What is a PB Patrol? PB. Well, let me start out by explaining. Obviously, we're a small congregation, and so we've had to combine ministries. Fortunately, the configuration of this church was just perfect so that the nursery was located right next to the adult restrooms. And so we were able to combine the two ministries and put the PB Patrol over both of them. It worked great. What are you talking about? 
I'm talking about the PB Patrol. Get it? PB? Poopy butt. Poopy butt. Poopy butt? What? This is a disgrace. No, it makes perfect sense now. Think about it. You've got the nursery, little poopies, and over in the adults, we got, well, you understand that. But I'm telling you, it's important because this is a ministry that you can sniff out these problems and wipe them out. It's an important ministry. I get the feeling you're trying to get rid of me. Get rid of what? what, what this is what? a disgrace. No, no, you might be onto something. I'm there. leaving. I'm going to take this back. Don't you worry. I will never come back here. Do you understand me? Wait, wait. Does that mean we don't get the sign? Does this mean we won't, won't get the sign? We could use that sign. Rats. See, I like to think that I can think on my feet as fast as anyone, but I bow down before you. <laughs> you are the masterpiece of trickery. <laughs> that was awesome. But just so you know, the next time somebody refers to me as a nut job, I'm sending them straight to you two. You guys know what? I cannot wait to tell my pastoral theology class about this one right here. They're not going to believe it. Oh, my goodness. But, oh, listen, on the real, real serious, nope. They weren't only trouble. They were pretty dangerous, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I thank you, too, for warning me. Truly, I do. Because what God's doing here is something wonderful. I know it's pleasing to his heart to see two different cultures coming together, learning to work together for the purposes of his kingdom. And therefore, I won't let anything or anyone disrupt that. It's just not going to happen, regardless of what I have to do. <laughs> Amen to that. Yes. Bless the Lord. <laughs> I have it on video. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Way better than pictures. Let me see. We needed a new sign. Oh, goodness. <laughs>